Hello everyone, welcome to Starting Out Solitary. This is Monsoon Magic. I am your Wednesday host, and this week we are talking about symbols. So this is a goddess canvas that I painted for an online class that I took called Psyche Circle with Lenora Henson. And the reason I'm showing you this is it has several of my favorite symbols in it. Um, and so I thought it would just be a good thing to kind of talk about. So my favorite symbol is the pentacle. Um, this one took me a while to get used to. It took me a while to get comfortable with it because as a Christian, it had so much stigma to me. Um, it actually makes me very sad that people don't understand what the symbol means, that really it's just a symbol of the elements, earth, air, fire, water, and spirit. Um, it's such a beautiful symbol. I love the pentacle or the pentagram now and so um, that's probably my favorite symbol very powerful symbol to me I keep a um, patent on my altar I have this one here um, I have it on my chalice I have one on my bell I have a black scrying mirror that has a pentacle on it also so that's one of my favorite symbols i also love the triple goddess symbol um my mantra for this year has been to dance like the maiden love like the mother and think like the crone and i really really love the symbolism of the maiden mother and crone so i absolutely love the triple goddess um that's part of my daily ritual in the morning when I set out for my day I always um, right before I blow out my candle in the morning as I'm getting ready I always ask the god and goddess to help me to think like or dance like the maiden love like the mother and think like the crone I also love the tree of life and wisps and whimsy mentioned this one and I was so glad she did because if you are in the broom closet the tree of life is very um acceptable so I love the tree of life I have a tree of life pendant that I like to wear I think that it just so beautifully represents my connection to mother nature Gaia the earth and um, people usually don't think twice about the tree of life although it can have its own meaning for me um, in terms of symbols I would also say that I'm very I'm a symbolic thinker, so color to me is very important when I um, set up my altars. I use specific colored cloths to represent or symbolize certain, certain things. Um, I use colored candles as sim symbols and symbolism. So for me, color is really, really important in my practice, especially in terms of my altar de decoration. Um, I do change out my altar cloth on my moon altar, my lunar altar three times, um, three times a lunar cycle. And then I change out my altar cloth on my main working altar uh, about every season to align the energy of the colors, the symbolism of the colors with the symbolism of the season. And then, I don't know if you would consider this a symbol or not. These are my crystals that I work with for my crystal readings. But I look at crystals definitely for the energy that they have, but also the I definitely view them as... Um, symbolic of energy, symbolic of archetypal energy. So I do believe that they hold the energy and vibrate at certain energies. But for me, it's also a symbol of that. So if I'm feeling the need for protection or strength, just carrying the tiger's eye, it carries that vibration of protection and strength. But for me, it's also a symbol of that, a physical symbol of that. And so I find crystals to be a really great way to um, have that physical symbol to, that represents the energy that I'm seeking, the energy that I'm working with. So if I am really striving to connect with my own divinity, connect with the god and goddess, hone my intuition just by looking at the amethyst it is symbolic of that to me yes it does definitely carry that energy and that vibration and you can align with it but for me just looking at them is very symbolic as well so i did want to mention that that's about all i have to say with symbols i use a lot of color i definitely use my crystals 
uh, my three favorite symbols. Oh, one other thing I would want like to mention is I do use oracle cards and tarot cards in um, on my altar as symbols of desires of things that I want to manifest or things that I want to banish. So you can, for me, I like to look at the oracle cards or my tarot cards and think about what those cards symbolize, what those cards represent, and use those cards um, again as that meditation tool, as that visual reminder of this is the energy I want to manifest or this is something that I want to um, banish or remove from my life. I hope you found this interesting. I hope you found it helpful. Thanks so much for tuning in and joining us here on Starting Out Solitary. If you have any topic requests, please feel free to leave those in the comments below, and we will definitely do our best to address those topics that you would like covered. And um, don't forget to subscribe, like the Facebook page, and until I see you next week, have a very, very blessed night.